Medspace CT provides the learner unprecedented learning experience within this CT immersive environment. As with everything, the menus are there to interact and position the patient in that initial pose. Individual equipment can be selected, foot pedals used to raise the couch, or the gantry panels to be selected to input the couch. Laser lights can go on, and once again, as with other modules, the camera angles can alter so we can get a bird's eye view of the laser position within the gantry. We can go to the CT panel and select our parameters, providing that the administration has been done already. Topogram images or instructions can be made. And we can watch the scan occur. Once we have the scan, if you click and drag on the image, you will get your scanning box. This then can be moved to be more appropriate if needed. Then slice thickness, slice interval, selected KVP and select MAS. Tick the boxes of dose modulation, whether the table's moving in or out. And we can also load contrast. Administration will select the number of mils of the contrast, as well as the dose rate. So students will be able to compare what they have set to the administrative setting. A standard time frame needs to be set. The contrast starts running and the radiographer will need to watch the clock as it counts down so they know when they can start their scan. Again, mimicking real life practice, waiting and hoping that you have everything set up before the scan takes place. Again, we follow breathing instructions if required, and we start the scan. These images, as I said, have come from the virtual human data set or visible human data set. We recognise they are in the wrong window setting, but we remind you that this is an object of process and we encourage your administration team to upload your own data sets from DICOM images that can be transformed into our patient model. Thank you and we hope you enjoy using the CTE module of Medspace VR.